Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Eurodollar. A counter to the counter bullish double yesterday after the previous session's immediate countering bearish harami. Price has now been toying with the dark blue extension of the January to February 2021 head and shoulders neckline currently at 111.74 for a third consecutive session. Now originally I was not sure of the strength of this neckline extension but it has been quite good ever since we reached up here so I'd watch this one carefully. Overall uh, just above the combined congestion from March 2020 and December 2023 high both at 111.39 whilst further up and a little distant is the July 2023 high at 112.76. Prices are also in between the purple middle time below, currently at 110.98, and the purple upper time above, currently 112.39, the late June to very early August bullish Andrews pitchfork. Now, so far today, a reactionary move lower from the open, testing down to the combined supports at 111.39, but just barely breaching it at the moment. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A new high yesterday, one not seen since March 2022. However, it was achieved on a series of justs. Uh, what I mean by that is we had a combined daily key reversal up, if only just, and a bullish engulfing pattern, if only just. The top side was again capped by the congestion at 132.98. Below, we now have some distance away, the combination of December 2020 low at 131.33 and the July 2023 high at 131.43. The latter, I suspect, is actually a derivation of the former. Overall prices are in between the dark blue upper time above, currently 133.79, and the dark blue lower time below, currently 130.99, of the bullish Andrews pitchfork for the late June to early August move. So far today, stabilizing within yesterday's range, moving down below the lesser Fibonacci line at 132.46, but not much more right now. As I say, we are still within yesterday's range. Euro sterling. A bearish black Marabozo yesterday, verging on a long black Marabozo, as well as a fifth bearish black crow. Prices this time closed well clear below, both the lower trend line, currently at 84.61 of the early August to date acutely descending wedge pattern and the April 2021 low 84.70 and the flat line in green short medium moving average currently at also 84.70. I previously laid out some potential targets for such a move below the August base descending wedge pattern. These were a primary target at 84.37 and a secondary harder to reach target X1 down at 83.34. Yesterday, the market reached down to target X and the move has continued lower, down within this large June to July congestion zone between roughly the April 2021 low above us at 84.70, all the way down to the 2024 low in July at 83.81. This zone is not specifically defined, so if prices do try to lower, you may find some places with little or no support and others with a lot. The next level to look out for on the downside is in the 8405 zone. Now, so far today, a further move lower without what superficially looks like, well, what does look superficially like into a free zone. Euro dollar against the Japanese yen. A bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, if only just, as well as a bearish closing black Marabozo after the previous session's hammer pattern. Prices did try above the 50% Fibonacci line of the January to 2023 to January 2024 move at 144.58, but once again closed below it. 
below this 50% Fibonacci line, we had and have a little, little actually in the way, bar the untested dark blue lower time currently at 142.98 of the December 23 to Aug early August 24 bullish Andrews pitchfork. And that's until the 2024 low at 141.62. I'm wondering if this market has maybe reached a decision time. There's also the glimmer of a mid-August to date small descending wedge pattern in the offing. So far today, a limited follow-on lower, the market turning back up to test the 50% Fibonacci line at 144.58 right now. There is still the possibility of the August to date small descending wedge pattern I've just previously mentioned today. US dollar against the CNH, the offshore Chinese Yuan. An indecisive spinning top pattern yesterday, but one that verged on being so much more. This after the previous session's reactionary bullish harami. Prices closed once again over the recent base of the Lesser Fibonacci line at 7.1161. Overhead, we have another Lesser Fibonacci line at 7.1695, but in between, not much by what prices have generated this month. Further down, we have the low of early August at 7.0822. Whilst above, we have the combination of the May 2020 high and the 50% Fibonacci line, the July to August move, both at 7.1695. All of this is in the shadow of last month's monthly key reversal down. Now, there has been the possibility that the action during August might be the hesitation part of a bearish halfway hesitation, or as is seeming more likely now, the construction of as yet an unformed descending wedge pattern. I'm watching closely to see which, or indeed even if both of these patterns materialize. But so far today, a move higher that sets up the opportunity for today to be a possible key reversal, especially a daily key reversal up, but we shall see. Your story against the Mexican peso. A bullish long white Marabazo and second bullish white soldier yesterday with a new high and high close, one not seen since December 2022. This follows the previous session's combined counter to the counter bullish piercing line pattern and bullish opening white Marabozo. Prices utilized support at 1940.68, moving up over the 2021 low at 1953.63, and importantly, over the bright red middle time, currently 1953.77, the mid-May to mid-July bullish shift pitchfork and the 2021 low at 1953.63, which had previously contributed to the capping of the big early August rise. Now we also have above just, well, we closed just above the April 2022 low at 1971.68, closing over air all of these and finally being capped by the lesser Fibonacci line at 1979.14. The overall picture remain within the bright red mid-May to mid-July bullish shift picture, which seem with semi seemingly considerable congestion further overhead between 1987.56 to 1991.31. Now so far today, a reactionary move back down, but only below the April 2022 low and not as yet testing the bright red middle tine below. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank <laughs> you.